I travel all over the country, sometimes all over the world doing uh, science shows and Science Week is a, is a special week for me because it's, uh, it's a really, really busy time. It ends up being Science Month because uh, it becomes such a demand and, it, and it's so nice to uh, be a resident, a resident scientist um, somewhere very different. My Science Circus show involves the thrills and spills of the circus with added science and the added science is forces. So I'm looking at how forces interact with the science of the circus. Lovely audiences here. In fact, 99.9999% of audiences uh, love to be entertained. They love the science behind it. And I think a day out with science uh, is always going to be a winner. When you take someone out of school, it adds a, an extra bit of spice, an extra bit of excitement. They don't really know what's going to happen. And of course, when you add education back in, um, the, I think the teachers see the educational value um, as well as it just being a day trip out and a, and a fun thing. Uh, they can see that, oh, this reinforces science um, all around us, not necessarily from, say, a book or, or from a film. I use forces in terms of juggling. I do lots and lots of different patterns. I'm, I'm looking at different ways that I'm applying forces. Um, I'm looking at gyroscopic forces with uh, lots of circular objects, yo-yos, diablos, spinning balls, spinning plates. Uh, and I'm, I'm really trying to get the, um, the students to look scientifically just by making observations. Um, and the great thing about when you're, say, on a roller coaster, you're actually, you can actually feel those uh, observations. You can see them and you can feel them and then you can think about them and go, oh, why, why does it feel like that? Uh, when I'm going in a straight line, and then when I start spinning, why does it feel like that?